we're excited. We've had everybody up early this morning. I don't think they wanted to be up this early, but no one's happy that we've got dragged them out of bed. No, we're the Disney wives, and we get up and we go and we make the most of every day. So we're off to breakfast. Looking forward to this actually. Although we were nearly late because my yeah. clock on my phone hasn't changed over because there's an hour difference. So my alarm wasn't going off, and Emma's was. I was a bit bemused. But we got we we've got the breakfast included with the room stay which we wouldn't have got if we stayed on Disney property unless we bought like a meal plan. So it's an added extra. So let's go see what the breakfast is all about. Yes, we shall take you with us. Oh, it's very grand, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Everything about this hotel is grand. I know I keep using that word, but it really is, isn't it? Beautiful. Stunning. Beautiful. Double staircase. I feel like I'm in something like the Titanic. In a castle. Oh, a castle. Mm. This looks nice. Wow. They've got us a table. Morning. So this is a restaurant, so you're coming through that door there. It's, it's quite a decent size to be honest. It goes all the way down there and all around here. So this is the juice machine. So you got orange, apple, and I think it's like a tropical. Oh. Then we've got coffee machine with tea. I do have English breakfast tea. And I think this is a chocolate powder with hot chocolate. And then we've got more drinks machines over here. There's a microwave if anyone should need it. Milk. Cereals. Doesn't actually specify what they are. So we've got some kind of cake. All sorts of jam. Oh, a nice French baguette. Well, we are in France, I guess. All the pastries, croissants, pan of chocolates. Not sure what these are, whether bread or some kind of. Who knows? So you got some kind of rice, mushrooms, paprika sausages, and potatoes, beans. Looks like they're all like cooking on a stove, I think. Kind of cool. Toast and toaster. Oh, you can boil your own eggs, that's kind of cool. So then over here we've got like some cheese, some hams, some cucumber, some mayo and ketchup. Then we've got scrambled eggs and bacon over there. And I think round here we might have fruit. So you got fruit and some kind of compote, coconut milk. Whoa, there's a popcorn machine. That's a bit strange for breakfast. And then we've got Nutella and more cereal. No like pancakes or anything, but it's good enough for free. Right, let's tuck in. So just a little tip for you. So in the juice machine, there is a water button. So if you bring your water bottle down for breakfast, you can bring one with you. And you can always fill it up with cold drink. I hope you feel the again. Obviously. For your breakfast. Do you know what? Like the toast was lovely, the pan and chocolate was lovely. The breakfast, like cooked items, I would say one of the best my bake, the bacon was cold. The beans weren't proper beans. They were, they were probably proper beans, but not like I'm used to beans. Um, it was all right. I mean, like I say, the toast and the kind of chocolate, I just fell up on them, they were lovely. So I'm not quite happy with it. 
Apple juice is nice, tea is nice. Yours? It was nice enough, it's free anyway, so we're just eating free out with this. It's nothing really. So I enjoyed it. Good but, start. But and then at least we've not over eight, so we can go and get more snacks and that. Yeah, I only had like a bowl of cornflakes and a pan of cornflakes, just because I want picky snacks. I don't want to fill up on free breakfast. It's good. So there's a board right next to the door of where you go out of the bus times. So it says how long the next one is and when they're all coming. So I'm hoping everyone's down and we get the 11 minute bus. If not, we're off without them, aren't we? So on the way out of breakfast, I thought I'd get myself one pan of chocolate to take with me as I was walking out. And I went there and they were all gone. They ran out. And that is because this school part, the school like trips in the breakfast area. I mean, I don't remember a school trip like that. There must be a group of like 60 kids. I'm glad that that's where they come to on a school trip. I'm just ever so jealous. I didn't get to go on one when I was a kid. They ate every pan of chocolate there. So we're just waiting for the bus. I think it should come from that way over here. Emma, are you cold? I don't want to get cold. <laughs> Need snow oh. now. Jesus, that was a mad bush route, wasn't it? I'm not providing it snow. You're flying everywhere. He went mad, that one. I'm clinging on to like a pole for a deal life. So that bus we got is got uh, four hotels it picks up from and we were number three. So it completely missed the Explorers Hotel, the one yes. next door, because it was full. So uh, I won't stay there if I ever come back because the bus clearly is the fullest there or won't stop. No. So yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice having a free free shuttle here. Oh, park opens in 20 minutes. We're in right good time. there's a massive queue if you just come to the left and right there's a, a really nice quiet entrance so don't forget that entrance it is good to be back so just walked in and look who's here Mickey and Minnie so this is a bit quieter than yesterday Wow Okay, found the snacks. Oh my god, look at all that. That's the cake pop I wanted to try down there. And the cookie. Vicky! Found yes. the snacks! I know, I want a cake pop. Where are you getting that queue then? And then here's the macarons. Oh my, they look amazing, but they're not just any macarons. They've got characters on. I found the lounge flies. We've got frozen, the stitch one. Is that the new Wish movie? It is. A mini mouse bag. Over here, you've got a Marvel lounge fly, Jack Skellington. The spirit jerseys <coughs> are awesome quality. The more selection than we last time were here. Oh! The wife's found me a jumper. <laughs> I don't think so, but thanks for thinking of me. Oh, okay. I love this Mickey jumper. I could see Vicky in that one. So this material of these is like gym leggings. I absolutely love them, I'm just not sure I'd fit in at the gym with these. Oh, and the t-shirt to match is really awesome. Right, so my wife has decided to eat my cake pop. We're sharing. It's got Minnie Mouse on. Anything Minnie's mine, anything Mickey's yours. I had to test it first to know you'd like it. Anyway, how is the cake pop? 
Yeah? Is he inside cake and he is marshmallow? Yeah. Good? Mm. Well, hand it over then. Go on, Em. What's your verdict? Like a brownie cake. That is stunning. Stunning. So we've got the castle up here and apparently through this way is a little dragon. I can't remember this from visiting before, so we're going to see the dragon. Oh, that dragon! I do remember the dragon! Going in the Christmas shop, which is also under the castle. I mean, it's only January, but everyone loves a Christmas shop. I love that mug. Still got a Christmas tree. Me and Vicky have always wanted this train set for underneath the tree at Christmas. So we didn't buy anything from the Christmas shop. It wasn't like bricks, but no, it was minimal. But then it is January. So, we've just seen the dragon, which is underneath the castle, and it's the only castle out of all the castles that have got something under them, yeah. uh, where you can have a walk through. So it's pretty cool to have a look at, actually. So now we're just about to go into the castle upstairs, which I don't think there's any other castles you can go upstairs. We have never done this, have we? We have. I just keep forgetting everything we have done. It's been a long time. I'll let you off. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, wow! So this is inside the castle upstairs, all the stained glass windows. So beautiful. So you can even go outside up here. Hey Vic, where's your sword? There's your sword in the stone! You're as strong as Wreck-It Ralph, you should give it a pull. We'll see. I mean, it's only just opened, hasn't it? But it's not too busy down there. Yeah. Unsuccessful. When will I ever pull the sword out of the stone? Keep trying, keep trying. Right, so we're on the Snow White ride. Apparently, this one's not in Florida. This is 45 minute wait. We'll see. There's no way it's 45 minutes. There's no way it's 45 minutes. I reckon half an hour at first. I don't, oh no, I'm going to say like 17 minutes. 10 o'clock now. So we're on the ride in 8 minutes 27, not 45 eh? kept breaking down didn't it yeah at least we got to take in like the actual scenery and yeah it was have nice. a good look yeah it was all right that i'm not sure what we're doing next another ride i need yes perfect mode so on the lounge fly of small world there's a qr code on the back if you open it up you get some backgrounds and music and all that small world torture <laughs> vicky's found the hat that matches her crocs <laughs> So outside Small World at the minute they've got the food booths. Good chance for me to eat a bit more. Vicky, we found the food booth. Look at the size of them crepes. Oh, Nutella. So in this one you've got tart fillet. It, it smells good. Well, if you like cheese, it smells good. So in this this stall, there's pretzels. Looks like pretzels and hot chocolate. So in this one, you've got like I don't know what them strawberries are. They marshmallow 
marshmallows. Oh, and strawberries. So marshmallows, strawberries dipped in chocolate, macarons. Mm, that's a bit of me. So the macarons are three for five euros, seven for ten euros, and then the chocolate covered strawberry, the skewers, are six euros. So they're not too bad at all. I'm definitely thinking I need to try some of these at some point. And then in this one you have waffles, different toppings. Right, yeah, so we're going in the dreaded small world. This one compared to Florida is massive. Right, we might as well do it. So we're on small world and if you didn't know when we were in Florida, I dropped my sunglasses in the water. And they're now floating around small world. Still in Florida. And mine is still safely on my face. It's not even sunny, she's just taking the mick out of me. Small world, Florida versus Paris. Paris. That's loads brighter as well. Oh, it's so vibrant. It's really nice. And I didn't lose anything in this one. It would be a good ride if it just didn't have such an annoying sun. It was actually not as long it didn't feel as Florida and it, it was more vibrant. It just, that was better. It was quite pleasurable to be fair. Yes. So we've just entered Discoveryland. Emma keeps getting confused and calling it Tomorrowland. I'm so confused. It's just Florida's in my head and everything here is just that slight little bit different. Yeah. It's so, getting a bit fresher now, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little chillier today, so we've got jackets and stuff on. Had to come out. Yeah. So we're going on Hyperspace Mountain, which is their version of Space Mountain in Florida. But it's got a Star Wars hint to it. Yeah, we have done this. Absolutely amazing. This is my favourite ride. I love it. I can't, I've been waiting to go back on this for years. I'm buzzed so I'm back. really excited for this. And then I think we're going to go for a round on Buzz Lightyear. So I'm not sure if we can film the ride. Nick says we will try. That we might get caught out. But I'm going to try to sneak the GoPro in the Morrist. So we'll see. So change of plan. Nick says going on Space Mountain right now will might make him feel a bit sick after his snack. So we're gonna go on Buzz first, just so he can settle. Who do you think's gonna win? Emma probably. Emma's very confident in Buzz, aren't you? Yeah. I'm not so confident. But you know, I might be good at this. You never know. So we'll find out. Your shield. You're looking at the winner right here. She's trying. Look at the score. Vicky. Guns are terrible. 1,700. 170. Vicky, look at your score. You're still going up. Keep shooting. Right, so Vicky. Emma's. Excuses, loser. Pushing into the middle. So it turns out wife one was the winner again. She even beat Nick. I was vlogging. <laughs> Nick and Lee have already stopped. Oh god, they've let Lee drive. <laughs> Tracy, Nick and Faith there. Where's my wife? They probably know she's that bad a driver. They've not let her uh, let her set off. <laughs> she is. I can't believe they've let her ever go. <laughs> Going slow. <laughs> Wife, I can't believe they let you drive. Well, I was on my own. I had to drive, didn't I? I can't believe they let it go behind me. <laughs> Did I you crash? I ran I got into whiplash. 
Well, then I have some kids behind me ramming into me, which pushed me into them as well. Mm -hmm. So the question is, Paris, Florida? Paris. What? Really? It's got more power in it. It seems to go a bit better, that one. And because I let you drive? Well, it is shorter where the one in Florida is longer. Hmm. if I managed to get any of that because I kind of got caught on the way so I tried to pull it out of my arm as fast as I could as soon as we set off so I'm hoping we got some footage from there but that was absolutely mint I love that Emma what did you think oh that was that was like the best like that is the best ride in Paris like oh my god I loved it it's so much better than Florida one for Paris again oh we need to go on that at least twice more yeah. before we go that was amazing oh Buzz Lightyear by the way I think Florida wins on that one. Oh yeah, Florida won. Harris, sorry. Buzz, you're not as good. Even though I beat her, that's probably why she's not scoring it high. But definitely uh, Florida I just, wins. I just don't think the guns worked as well on Buzz Lightyear. No, I don't think you get a sticker here for Galactic Hero. Oh, there was a Galactic Hero sign, so I imagine you do get a sticker. Anyway, we didn't get it. Right, I don't know what we're doing next. Need we'll... some more rides. Let's go. So behind the hyperspace mountain area, you've got Sky Tours, Starport, which I'm not actually even sure what it is. There's a Star Trader's shop behind, and then Mickey's Fill Our Magic Show is over in the corner, right behind everything. So don't forget, it's back here. I'm looking forward to going to this. I love a good show. It's fill Our Magic time. You love this one, wife, don't you? Yeah, but it's all in French. Oh, is it? The whole thing? I think so. Oh, oh well. Oh, well, we still get to see this <laughs> And sit inside. Warm oh, up a little bit. Same. Sequence. We'll have to find out. So the stage in here, and the whole place is just absolutely massive. Much bigger than Florida. Ooh, fill our magic. So, the seats move in Paris, which is quite good. Yeah, I like that's that, a really that's great added bonus. But I don't feel like the effects are as good as they are in Florida. Like you don't get like sprays of water and the smells and stuff. And the screen isn't as big. No, it doesn't stretch around. Whereas in in Florida, it stretches and you see more. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it is amazing, and we don't mean to sound like we're like critical because they're they're both amazing in their own way. But that's definitely one to Florida. Another one to Florida. Star Tours, five minutes. So what do you think of that? Um, I enjoyed it, but it was all in French, so I couldn't understand it. So, so yeah, it was good. Nah, Florida gets the point only because we can't understand it. Still really good. Yeah, it was really good. It's the same ride. Yes, yeah, same sequences as Florida as well. So it was, yeah. it was good. They're just very, very sh sh like strict on filming, so we couldn't film any of that yeah. ride. But it was real good otherwise. So just in the shop when you come off, you've got all the helmets. That is really cool. That is awesome. I do love these. So in here you can build your own lightsaber again. This shop's really cool actually. I'm not even too sure what it is, but... Me neither. Ears. It's got ears on it. Star Wars ears. I think these would annoy me. So they're just at the Videopolis and there's a theatre and inside the theatre you meet Minnie in here. The queue's an hour. So we're getting to meet my favourite character, Minnie. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh look at Minnie in a French outfit. Bonjour Minnie! <laughs> How cute is Minnie? <laughs> Go say hello. <laughs> Oh, 
Right, so I know it's only like an hour and a half for our pin kitchen reservation, but there was a snack in here I wanted, and Lee's just had it, and he says it's amazing, so I'm getting it. I think it's like a Mickey Moose cake, so we'll find out. So She's got it now. Chocolate hey. Moose. Hey. No, it's she only took a slither off rather than biting the ear off like she did this morning when the camera wasn't running. Yeah. So this was on our list to buy, and the boys did. Oh, don't drag me into this. Did get us one, Not me. but then because we were meeting Minnie, they ate ours. So good. <laughs> he actually, he actually bought a brownie and that, and had them both. No, I had them with brownie. It's in the bag. But like, you were going to get the brown. You were going to get that, and you were going to have the brownie. But then when he I had saw that, it, well, oh my god, it looks so good. He had that, shoved it's the brownie so in his bag, and then felt guilty. I've told you, I'm, I'm saving myself for pimples. Yeah, well, so we had to buy our own. I would say it's 10 out of 10. Even if it's taken off a bit of room in my stomach, it is worth it. Can I have some? Yes. All right, she shared some of that moose cake. That is 100% 10 out of 10. Just that like is 12 out of 10. That is, that is the best yet snack. I think it was only like five euros. Oh, so good. That's so good. Oh my God, that snack. You just have to get it. I'm gonna keep banging on about it, but it was just so light and so creamy. But you know when you eat something, it makes your whole insides feel just really happy and just really like, mm, that's what it was. <laughs> get it if you come to Disneyland Paris. You must have it, it's amazing. I loved it. I need another one before I leave. So just going into Adventureland. I think we're gonna go on to Pirates of the Caribbean this way. Looks quite busy today in here. Okay, she stopped at a shop on the way for Adventureland. Oh, that's really cool. I like this spirit jersey. Can you show me the back of that? So 70 euros for that. Is this a spirit jersey? Did you bring your Lion King one? Give it a turn for me. Oh my God, I love that. Did you bring yours? No, I forgot. Love that. So just in Adventureland, and while you're here, you can meet Captain Hook. And you've got Peter Pan down here. Oh, and Wendy. Wendy and Peter Pan. And they're just outside of this boat area. This is beautiful. Indiana Jones ride, I believe, which is quite full on, but looking forward to that. Yeah, it shakes you around a bit. Mm -hmm. Ride and oh my god, look at Mickey. You like that, don't you? Yeah, that ride was really good. Yeah. Intense. Yeah, it wasn't as bad as I remember. It wasn't as shaky. It was alright, I loved it. It was quite tight, but apart from that, it was amazing. Good fun, that. Yeah, really good. So, we're just on our way out of Disneyland Park. So, we're now going to go to I think it's called Walt Disney Studios. I can't quite remember the name of it. It's definitely not Hollywood Studios, that's for sure. That's what I keep saying. So, if Emma said it wrong, it's because she just gets confused easy. <laughs> so, we've got a book in at Pim Kitchen for half three. So, we're on our way there. And I really want some food. And I'm really excited to see the Avengers Campus. Because we haven't seen it, it's like brand new to us here. So, we're looking forward to the merch shop as well. I want to see if I can find something cool, Iron Man or something like that. 
Okay, just so I get it right, it's Walt Disney Studios. I'm too used to Hollywood Studios, me. I'm like, excited for this. Yeah, me too. Changed so much since we've been here. Yeah. When you come into Ratatouille music, no better feeling. So this is the area where there's like, between, between the entrance and the uh, rides, it's got all the restaurants and a few shops in here as well. They're good a place to skate when it's raining or cold. The dreaded Tower of Terror. I'm sure they'll drag us on that later. So this is where Pim Kitchen is. It's an Avengers campus. So we've never been to this before, me and Vicky. It's new for us. We're looking forward to this. So this ride here is Web Slinger. So we're hoping to get on that while we're here. I mean, it's just amazing. I'm looking forward to going down at the back and having a little look around. So here's Pim's kitchen. Uh, we did make a reservation for this. It's quite hard to get into. So we did it in advance. So book. Okay, so this is inside. We're just waiting to get seated here. I love it. So we are sat in this table here. There's seven of us, isn't There's seven of us. So... We'll start over here. Oh, I think you've got like um, an ice cream machine here. And there's like, yeah, I think there's supposed to be like for toppings stuff. for the ice cream. So we've got uh, breaded, barbecue breaded cauliflower. I think it's like cauliflower cheese or something like that. Yeah, and then rice, miniature burgers, french fries. So you've got some ketchup there. So you've got a selection of hams over here. So you've got a big like, cucumber, some salad. Rabbit and hazelnut pie. Oh. Some more kind of... Oh, so they got some salad. Looks like a bit like grilled chicken. And... There's the giant croutons. In Pim restaurant, everything's like like different sizes. That's what's the fun bit about yeah. it. Oh, them tortilla chips. Oh, they look nice. So then you've got all different kind of types of oils and stuff. Stuff to make your own salad if you don't want any of that. Blue mayonnaise. I'm going to have some of that with my chips. There is no more, but we need to have some blue mayonnaise. A bit of also, isn't there? Yeah, prawns. Yeah. Right, in there we've got some soup. Um, flavour is it? Kale soup. And then a jumbo pretzel, which you can get pieces of. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that hot dog. dog and little hot Bin. dogs. They yeah. look really nice. So by the looks of things, you get a big version and then a little version. You can have either or. You can have um, your own pasta made. So pick a sauce and they'll make it there for you. That's quite fancy. Warm it up here. So normally there's corn dogs in the bag when they run out. I'm sure they'll be filling oh. it up. Oh yeah, I want corn dogs. Come back with corn dogs and they're full. Some jambalaya. Uh, well, I might try rice. some of that. that looks nice. Nice, isn't it? Mm. Oh, but there's fish in it. Mm. You can pick a bit without fishing. Maybe I'll have a bit without fish. And then you've got some kind of crumble from vegetables. No idea. Some potatoes. Chicken wings. Fried chicken wings. Yeah. Then you've got chicken wings and whatever else we have. Some barbecue sauce there, Ooh. that looks really nice. Oh yeah. But I think we need to eat. Yeah. So I think I went with a bit of everything. We've got Doritos, barbecue pork, the hot dog, cucumber, blue mayo, french fries, jambalaya, potatoes. Oh my god. And I'll go back for more. What's the verdict? Good food, isn't it? It's the last time I don't think the crispy beans were here or the venison stew in casserole and then the giant burger. Oh my god. She's on her third plate. Third plate? <laughs> What's your favourite bit so far? God yeah, my favourite so far is the burger. Keep going. Right, so I think it's pudding time, isn't it? So we've got a, a giant, it's meant to be a giant donut but cut into pieces. Madeline. Oh my god, look at this Oreo cake. One giant Oreo. Okay, there was fudge cake, but it might be run out for now. Lemon cake. Red velvet cake. 
Oh, what's this down here? Pim. This is the pim pimini cake. We'll have to try it just to see what it is. Little tarts. A little crumble. So things that are in here are miniature and big, one or the other. That's the theme going on. Carrot cake, that's tiny. Then we've got a pecan pie, which is giant and cut into pieces. And then there's some mousses over here. And then over here we've got some chocolate and hazelnut mousse. Oh, oh my god. Mousse, oh White chocolate mousse, dark chocolate mousse, fruit salad. Oh, I didn't see all this over here actually. I'm going in. Anyway. Oh, jelly. I missed the mini cheesecake. How cute is that? So you just press a button. I don't understand what the different flavor the buttons are, but press the button. And it moves it up itself and makes it for you, so there's no chance of mess. That's quite clever, that. Yeah? And then if you want them, there is toppings to go on them as well. So I went back for more cake. I've got the donut cake, donut chocolate, donut cake, sponge cake, blue one. Oh my god, amazing. So on the table you've got like these oil, balsamic vinegar, salt and pepper pots. They're pretty unique. Love them. Just give you a little bit of a tour around. So right in the middle of the restaurant, there's this dome. It's pretty cool that. Got, like hexagony. It's the same kind of pattern which was on the plates. It's just really cool. And then there's some really cool artwork as you go around. Big bit of bread up there, that's really cool. So baby, what do you think of tea? That was amazing. That was amazing, that buffet. Absolutely amazing. It was, just, it was uh, meant to be like like small and enlarged things. That that was the theme of the pin. Yeah. But uh, oh my god, I absolutely loved it. What was your favourite thing? And there's a single rider lane, which is actually five minutes. Welcome to Wes. I'm Sharon, the artificial intelligence that keeps this place running smoothly. Okay, we have a plan. Head to the sling of vehicles and we'll team up to sling webs and stop the spider bots before they destroy the event. Oh, this is exciting. That's it. Watch your step as you move all the way into the sling of vehicles. Take a seat and put those web vision tight in the on. Web slingers. That was that ruined. Oh. You, you basically you're firing with your wrist um, at. So you're basically like that. Uh, yeah, constantly. And there must be sensors above you. You're wearing 3D glasses and you just go around and then you're constantly sort of flying your hands out. It's a little bit like Toy Story Mania in a way. Yeah, yeah. You're scoring. You're getting scored throughout as you go. Yeah, that's been amazing. I love it. I'm absolutely knackered though from that now. Yeah, I didn't do very well because I was only using one arm because I was trying to get GoPro footage on the other, so it didn't work very well. It was brilliant. Love but that. Mid ride, right now we're looking in the shop. So, as you're going around on the ride, you're looking for these um, spiders, I suppose they're called spider bots. So, you're looking for them as you go in, and you're constantly firing at them to help Spider Man because they've taken over, and that's what you've got to help him with. But yeah, amazing. So, this um, shirt jacket's cool. Oh wow, I love that. Yeah, that's amazing. How many? 75. It's alright. 
So it's not just got the Spider-Man stuff in, there is the other characters in here as well. So got Iron Man there, Captain America, the Groot stuff. Oh, I like that, this mug. It's quite nice, that. Iron Man, Thor mug. Oh, so you got the Avengers Campus merchandise in this store. This this store you can get to from main sh the main street of Avengers Campus, but it also comes out on the um, Spider-Man ride. Some awesome things in here, isn't there? So she's found a spirit jersey with the Avengers Campus logo. Give us a twirl. Oh, I really like that. How much is that? It's not too bad. I like it. So we're just going on the S Avengers Assemble Flight Force and this is the old Aerosmith ride. They've just uh, changed it completely. Looking forward to this one. What did you think about the boss? Awesome. That was mint. <laughs> it just launches you off so quick and then throws it just turns twists everything straight away. There's no like warm-up for that one. It's just one, two, three. <laughs> I know it used to be a rock and roller coaster and it's like Nothing it's like the it. same ride, but like the theming and everything else just makes it completely different. It's amazing. Yeah, loved it. Oh, that. I loved that. Right. So you come out of the ride just over here, and right opposite. It's um, Stark Factory and it's a quick service and it just looks really cool so I'm going to take you for a little walk around it because it looks mint. I think there was a snack on here I wanted to try. I'm not sure. Oh here it is, it was the Thunder Cake, it's chocolate and caramel. I might have to get that one afternoon. So there's just like pizzas, pastas, ice cream drinks. Go have a look. Let's see if it looks quite cool. Ah, so it's like, um, help yourself to drinks and stuff. There's toilets in here, a microwave. Look at this. This looks mint. This just looks so cool in here. Wow. So the Coke and coffee machines, I think you, you get your receipt and then you've got a scanner code and then it'll let you get your drink. So they're not the ones where you can just go and help yourself but there is like ice and stuff and I presume you'll be able to get ice and water like in your water bottles and stuff if you need. So we've just been back in the shop that come out of Web Slingers. So I've just got Emma's sister Kim a shop glass and a key ring because she collects shop glasses and uh, I got a pin. But they don't give you carrier bags and they don't have like the little ones anymore So if you want a bag for your stuff, it's like two euros. So just be wary of that It's an extra cost well, if you I've buy your merch. Me, so we put it in there. Yeah, we, not that we're tight, but we've got so many bags for life at home. Yeah, we have rucksacks It's not a problem, but if you're buying a lot of stuff, you'll have to pay extra for a bag So just to let you know, it's re it looks really cool in the light oh, yeah. it's like, it's just dimming, I don't know what you can see, but it looks mint. It's just starting to get dark, but everything's just lit up. So we're just going to have a little walk around the studios. And then I think we might, are we going back to Disneyland Park? Yeah, so at 10 to 8 is the drone show, and then at 8 o'clock is the fireworks show on the castle. Um, so we want to get back for them, but until then we've got a couple of hours to just look around this area. Yeah, see what, ooh, let's see. <laughs> I again. found snacks. You've just finished eating an all-you-can-eat buffet. I'm not eating, but these guys want to know the snacks. Okay. So I'll spin you around. Right. Oh, so we've got atomic cocoa balls. Oh, so these are the group biscuits. They're like, just like little biscuits with like, I think Nutella or jam in. They're a bit like BNBNs, if anyone knows what they are. I'm going to get them at some point, but uh, right now, 
our bellies are far too full for that. That's outside the training centre where yeah. you can meet the characters. So we're currently just having a walk around the studios. So you've got the Tower of Terror here and you can see the Toy Story parachute over there. I'm just behind these construction walls, that's where Arendelle's going to be, ready for the new Frozen. Next, I think it's next year it's coming. So at some point we're going to get on there, the parachute, and you can see over, you can see the construction. I don't think we're going to do it tonight, I think we're just having a wander around now because we're going to go watch the fireworks in the main park and the new drone show. Welcome, I am Buzz Lightyear, oh, no, Space no, Ranger. No, no. Just like I always say to my good friend Woody, you've got a friend in me. So we're just walking into Emma's favourite area. I don't know how well you can make this out because it's in the dark. But we are going into the Ratatouille we're section. Going on Remy. Going on Remy. Yeah. Have you seen the little stalls that are here? So currently, I think it's till the end of January. I'm not entirely sure. But there's some little outdoor stalls. I think they're a bit like they were in the other park. We'll see what's on them. I'm wondering if they're just the same kind of thing that we saw earlier. Yeah, so you've got the tartar fillet over here with some, I think it's raclette, the cheese. So here's the Ratatouille gift shop just here, which I'm sure Emma will definitely want to go in. And then in this stall here, we've got waffles and I think it might be like. I'm not entirely sure. Some, oh, gyros is what's in there. That looks quite good. It's just so beautiful over here, especially in the night time. Then you've got pretzels and other bits in there. Are you excited? Oh my god, look how pretty it is. Oh my god, I just love this place. There it is. Okay, this is beautiful. So behind us is Bistro Chez Remy. So you come out of the Ratatouille ride and it, it takes you on the ride past the restaurant. And inside you are like a giant rat. Like, and everything is just huge. Oh, it's amazing. It's the best restaurant, best meal I've ever had in my entire life. I absolutely loved it. I'm trying to persuade my wife to take me again this trip, but because we're with other people, we don't want to, don't, don't want to like veer off too much from everybody. But that is the best steak and ratatouille I've ever had. Well, we're not sure where we're eating yet, are we? So we might go there. I might take it. But anyway, we need to get on the ratatouille ride while we're here. All right, come on, let's go see Remy. Yes. This way. <laughs> the chef Remy is waiting for you. This way. There's something Remy in here. Emma's only just started eating cereal. She goes through stages, but. Oh my this. god! I love it. Okay. I love it. Anything else? Ten I euros it is. That's not too bad. Oh, I like that. Vicky would look good in that in work. I really like this mug that Vicky's found. It's the shape of a chef. And then the spoon. spoon. Ratatouille side. 19 euros. It's not too bad. Too bad. Love it. 
Uh oh, we're really in trouble now. Show Remy cup. That is. And show Remy plate. I think we need these. And, and she's found a t shirt. Oh so god, many oh flavours, so little time. I need it all. Oh my god, it's such a. I don't like a massive cup of tea. That's the perfect it's like, cup it's size. It's the perfect Emma size teacup. And the plate, look at it. It's just like beef rush. It's the same plates they have in the restaurant. What they I serve think. you in the restaurant. That means you, for Valentine's every year, you cook me, she's a chef, a uh, steak dinner for Valentine's. It's something she's always done. So if my favourite meal in the world comes from Chez Remy's restaurant, then we have to buy the plate for you to make my perfect steak. Please. Okay. Okay, so my wife may be at the till purchasing a few bits. Vicky, what did you get? Thank you. How cute is Chef? Chef Mickey and Chef Minnie. Oh my god, I love these. It just reminds me of Vicky that. And they are 20 euros each. So it's by Walt Disney Studios for now. Yeah. We're going to be back tomorrow, yeah. but we're just heading over now to the other parts so we can watch the drone show and the fireworks. We've got an hour till it starts, or just under, so try and get a good little spot. in one of the shops and we found the ornaments I've already got that clock but look at the Mickey Mouse what a size it's only 59 euros and the mini there that matches it's like meant to be like a bronze looking statue there's a melon and Archimedes and then she likes the merlin wow so at the back of this glass shop you've got some jewellery here and like I think everything is such exceptionally good value actually there's nothing I've seen that I think is astronomical but that ring I really think is beautiful 
it is 79 euros and then there's some really that, that necklace pendant is beautiful that was 79 just really really good value so found another mickey ornament that's 49 euros okay she's seen one she likes this is the one she really likes it's mickey mouse looking in the mirror painting wool and that one is 89 euros such good value you'd expect these to be hundreds oh she's seen another christ that's huge 219 euros that one if we could get that one back it's worth it uh 249 euros that one so we found some more ornaments. I absolutely love this one. It's 60 euros and it's Mickey with his ears back. And oh my God, I absolutely love that one. And then you've got Mickey, Pluto and Minnie, 159 euros. It says 70% off, we're not sure which one it's 70% off of, but we love these, especially that one. So we've just found out that 70% is all this wall of stuff, which makes him I think if it says 60 euros, it's going to be 18 euros. I think you need him, Vicky. Okay. We have the whole of Main Street to ourselves. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cool. This man. So, uh, 8 o'clock, the park closed. It's now 8.55. So, we waited till after the fireworks, had a move around the shops, wait till all of everyone's cleared. Perfect picture time. Yep, and then you've got an hour from now, like from 8, sorry, when it closes, to look in the shops and get out. I think we're going to be shooed out any minute. There's yeah. security around. Yeah, However, we, some pictures. we wanted some pictures of the castle. It's beautiful. Oh, oh what do you think of the electrical firework break? Oh, that was really good. That was unreal. I've never seen anything like it. That was the best thing I've seen in a long time. That was just amazing. I was getting a bit mad though, because there was people like kids on the shoulders, balloons wafting everywhere, so you couldn't see the actual fireworks. But not only did she have the kid on her shoulders, she was dancing. She was like this. And then the kid on the shoulders was dancing. So we could see the electrical parade really well, but then when the fireworks show started, um, that was good as well, but she wasn't the best because we just couldn't see everything because of the dancing lady in no. front of us. But I mean, it was good, but the electrical parade show was better. Unreal, like nothing I've ever seen before. Like absolutely amazing. But yeah, I, I absolutely loved it. Yeah. Right, we better take some pictures before we get kicked out. Yeah. Okay, so my wife thinks because Main Street's empty, she's just gonna get all the pictures she can and oh it's in lead on the floor. <laughs> Good night, Main Street. Have you ever seen it so quiet? We're like the last people to leave the park. We're being shooed out now by security. How beautiful. So I think we're gonna try and head back uh, to the bus, maybe stop at the art shop on the way. But oh, if we, tomorrow. oh yeah, that's a good idea. But if we would have tried to get out when the fireworks ended, we would have been waiting about an hour or more in the bus queue anyway. So this way, we've got Main Street to ourselves, taken some pictures, and just enjoyed it. So that's really cool. No need to rush. No. I think we're gonna get back to the hotel, maybe see if the others are about, have a drink, just chill out at the bar area, and then get some sleep, ready for another day tomorrow. Another Disney day. <laughs> right, let's see how long the bus queue is now. Okay, so we've just got to the bus stop and Vicky thinks she's just seen our bus pulling up. If it was, then we need to hurry up. We finally made it back to the room. Another long day. I needed a beer after that journey. <laughs> that bus journey was mental. Oh, there was a, another crazy bus journey. We thought leaving it for like an hour or so after like the park officially closed meant we could get on the bus easier mm -hmm. no that was another fight but anyway we won't discuss that it was packed packed in yeah but it's been another amazing day yes yeah, absolutely nice. loved it what's your highlight of the day vicky Ooh. the light force maybe and pim kitchen because that oh. was really good i loved that pim kitchen absolutely amazing yeah if you come into disneyland paris I would highly recommend. We're quite, Pimkin. yeah, we're quite fussy eaters, and it's not overly posh. It's not. It's just, just nice, 
good food. It's it, we really really enjoyed yeah, it. It's simple, but it was all really nice. There's simple but really tasty. The desserts were good. All the food was good. Yeah, I don't think I've ever stuff. had a buffet where there's that much choice of different things. No, me yeah. neither. That that was the best buffet I've had in a long time. Yeah, that was really good. Really good. Rides were good. We got on Remy at the end. Yeah. Uh, we saw the electrical parade. That was. Christ, that was up there with that the best good. thing of the day. That that was amazing. Oh, actually, it? I will tell you, my favourite thing of that the day was having Main Street to myself. <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah, we were just hanging around taking pictures, being goofy. It was great. That, it was just so cool just to be like the last people standing in an empty park. Yeah, and, and hanging out with the gang again today. It's just been brilliant. Yeah, so we're going to go to sleep, get showered. I don't know what the plan is for tomorrow, we haven't quite decided. We're just gonna have a bit of we might have a bit of a lion. Little lion but not too we'll much. We'll see. And then Go with gonna, the flow tomorrow. Yeah, I think we're gonna go to both parks again, see what we can get on, what we haven't done, and then what we wanna do again. Yeah. So thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. If you wanna like, comment and subscribe. So drop us a comment of your favourite place to eat in Disneyland Paris. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Oh